Hey, what is up guys, Aaron here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best apps or my favorite apps uh, that I think that every student that has a Mac should have. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, all right, so the first app is actually an app that sits right over here in your menu bar. Uh, so it is called Express VPN. Uh, so now what it does is uh, basically nowadays most of our college studies have moved from being at college campus to other places. So, you know, I'm studying at home, but sometimes I go to a public library. Sometimes I'm at a cafe. Uh, so basically what this app allows you to do is it allows you to have a secure connection to the Internet so that you're not, uh, you know, that, that, so that you're not easily hacked. Um, so that's uh, that, that's what a VPN does. Now, ExpressVPN is actually very special because it actually makes my network connection faster than it is. Okay, so I know that might seem a little bit weird, but I'm, I'm not joking when I say that when I'm downloading an app, when I'm downloading a file from Google Drive, let's say for example, um, I find that it's uh, you know at, at a certain speed, and then when I turn on ExpressVPN to the recommended location, so for example, now it's at it's uh, it's at you know Amsterdam. Um, so when I'm once I'm connected to the VPN, it makes everything go a lot faster. So I don't know what they do. I don't know if they even know about it, uh, but it's something pretty cool that ExpressVPN usually makes my internet connection a little bit faster than it already is. All right, so that was app number one, ExpressVPN. App number two is going to be another app that sits in the menu bar. It's actually called Horo. So H-O-R-O, -O, it's free in the Mac App Store. There's actually also a paid version. But let's go ahead and show you guys what it does. So like I said, it sits over here in your menu bar and it's a simple timer app. So let's say I have a course that starts in 25 minutes. So if I wanted to just set a quick timer or alarm to alert me in 25 minutes, I can just go ahead and type out literally, uh, let's say, oh, I can uh, just do 24 minutes that like I have already saved. So I just press enter and then in you know, 23 minutes and 55 seconds, it will go ahead and sound an alarm. And, uh, and, and that's basically it. So it's very useful for if you wanna just have a quick timer, you don't wanna go find your phone or go Google search timer, blah, blah, blah. You just have it uh, in your menu bar. All right, so now once we got that app out of the way, I'm actually gonna, just gonna close out of it. Uh, the next app I want to show you is going to be Post-it. So now, if you're American, then you know what post-it stickies are. You know what you know the sticky notes are. Um, so that's basically what this app is. Uh, so you know you could just have you know some post-it boards if you want to have for certain courses. You want to just take quick notes about them. You can do that too. So these are some pre uh, pre-made uh, you know post-its. Um, you know just uh, for for the sake of you know for the sake of this video. Um, all right, let's see if we can uh, go ahead and edit a sticky note. Uh, so here I, I am just using my graphic tablet. I can write hello and yeah, just, you know, I, I can save this and then it's here in my post-it board. So, you know, my post-it board here has a couple groups, has a couple of things and yeah, it's pretty simple. It's again, it's just a, an app for post-it notes. Uh, it literally does just that um, and then if you want, you can go ahead and order post-it notes from this app. So, uh, you know, I see what you did there, post-it. Um, but uh, yeah, that was post-it. Um, all right, okay. So the next app that I wanna show you is actually a little bit similar, but a lot different. It is going to be called GoodNotes. Um, all right, so what GoodNotes is, is it is a note-taking app for, uh, for college. All right, so let's say, um, I have some of my notebooks here that, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm on a Zoom meeting, um, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, take notes literally uh, from my computer. So let's, let, for the sake of this video, let me go ahead and create a new no notebook. So we can choose a cover, we can choose the type of paper that we want. So I'm just going to use uh, some ruled narrow paper and we're going to call this, let's say we're going to call this linear algebra algebra all right so I went ahead and created that notebook and then it opens up and let's make this full screen we can see this is the cover I can go ahead and write here Lynn I'm so used to writing uh, limb 
All right, linear A. All right, so now this is literally a notebook. So let's say we wanted to, uh, you know, do some uh, matrix calculations. So let me just change the pen here, uh, the pen color. So let's say we want to do 0, 1, 0, 5. So yeah, I mean, I mean, this is just a note taking app, a regular notebook. Uh, and if you want to add pages, you just scroll down. Uh, this app is actually very useful because it also will sync with uh, your iPad if you have the GoodNotes app on your iPad as well. So it will uh, sync with it as well. And, and uh, you know, it, it can be pretty useful. So that's GoodNotes. If you want to have a whole video review on GoodNotes, uh, I'll link in the description below. Um, so you can go ahead and see that in fuller detail. Uh, but I really recommend this app for note taking uh, and it's really good. All right, so the next app that I want to show you, the next app I have over here on my list is going to be negative. So uh, negative is uh, just a cool app that will uh, change any PDF document. It'll change any PDF document to uh, black and white. So if you want, uh, you know, let's say you're studying at night uh, and you want to convert your PDF you know, that's in white to, to black to its negative. So you can actually, you can do that. And it actually works really, really well. So that is negative. There's nothing really to show you. Um, it's just negative. I'll, I'll link it in the description and you can check it out. All right. So the next step after that is going to be called self-control. Self-control is uh, an app that basically takes control of your, uh, your computer. And, uh, and, and helps you kind of focus. So I don't want to start it now, but basically if I were to start it, it would uh, lock me only in certain apps that I allowed. Uh, so Zoom is one of them, and, uh, and I wouldn't be able to leave out of it unless I you know, uh, unlocked it. Uh, but it's pretty cool, it's free, you can check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the video description as well. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, obviously, there's a you know Zoom, but everyone has Zoom. I don't need to recommend to you know I don't need to recommend some you to download it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If there was something that if there's an app that you find useful, please go ahead and leave it in the video description so that the viewers can see what uh, other people recommended. And uh, and yeah, thanks for watching again, and have a great day. Bye bye.